Holden this week as he's getting ready to make his hurricane debut? You know, to be honest with you, I've, I've kind of seen the same guy the moment he's walked in here. You know, he's been very attentive, very urgent. Uh, he wants to pick up what we're doing and learning. I haven't seen much of a difference in his attitude from when they told him he couldn't play till today, which I think speaks to, you know, the maturity that he has and the mental state that he's in. Hey, Coach, I was curious, you know, when you look at the film, like, have you seen, I mean, you haven't played really top, top quarterbacks yet necessarily, North Carolina excluded probably, mm -hmm. but have you seen guys like running free where you can say to your safeties, this is where you need to be? Like, have there been a, a lot of us or have guys generally been in the right areas? Like, are you sort of, can you sort of sum that area up? No, I'm, one, I think we have played good quarterbacks to say that they're not good quarterbacks. I think's uh, not, you know, I don't think that's true. Um, I, I'm pretty sure all those teams out there don't feel those quarterbacks aren't good players either. Uh, so I think they have, we have good, seen good talent, good receivers. Uh, I think early in the year, you know, like I told you guys, we're a young secondary trying to figure it out. You know, um, everyone gets kind of forgets what it was like when Jaquan and Redwine were young guys. And, and, uh, and when, you know, before that, you know, with those young, uh, the group we had before that, it's growing pains. It's part of it. It's not going to be add water instant player. I keep telling everyone this but, and people don't understand it and I get it. Uh, but that's part of growing up. What I have seen over the last few weeks is, is a lot better communication. I've seen us start to settle down. And the bottom line is just seeing what's, what's happening is you're stacking reps on reps. You know, Jaquan, Red, Mike Jack, and all those other guys, when they first jumped in there, were screwing it up too. But what happened at the end was they had a lot of reps at, and a lot of playing, you know, they've gone on the field a lot, and they wound up being one of the best, if not the best secondary in the country. So it's not going to happen. Every year's a rebuild in college football. This isn't the NFL. You can look up stats like I did, and it shows that you guys are playing more man uh, this year than zone like you were last year. Um, in what ways do you see it? I think it's like 59% man versus, I think, 41% last year. Yeah. In what, in what ways do you see it differently uh, from your perspective in, in terms of just the way that you guys are playing and maybe why you're playing differently? I wouldn't say it's anything to do with scheme. Um, and even, you know, what, however you break it down, I guess that you're using PFF, I'm guessing at the end of the day, you know, it's not necessarily always whatever they're saying it is. Uh, I think we're, we've done a good job of mixing it up between one high and two high uh, and, and making sure, much like we did a couple years ago, you know, making sure that we can do everything well. You know, we don't want to just do one thing really good and one thing poorly. So with a young secondary, we're taking the same approach we did two years ago and making sure that we can do both and do it well. And, and the bottom line is what makes us play man and what makes us play too high is very, very, has a lot to do with who we're playing you know, in terms of the scheme, not necessarily, you know, well, who we are, if that makes sense. Right, right. It seemed like Gervin took a step forward against Central Michigan. Do you, do you agree with that assessment? Yeah. What's he doing? And I think uh, the first two weeks, Gervin was what I thought Gervin would be, you know, a young guy running around, you know, not necessarily doing everything right, and bottom line, didn't tackle well, um, which at the time Rob was doing a really good job of and still is. And... What happened is Rob jumped in front of him because Rob's tackling. And what I saw Gervin do was refocus on what I, the only thing that matters to me is tackling, you know, and not busting and playing hard. Um, at the end of the day, scheme is scheme and that's great. And I'm not saying it's not important, but what the most important thing in defense and what we've done here in the last three years going on four now is playing hard and tackling. And over time, your scheme will be better and your reps will be cleaner because you're practicing more. But the first thing that has to happen is running to ball and tackling. And to answer your question, that's what Gervin's done really, really well the last two weeks. With, uh, with the growth of uh, Bubba and just him sort of getting used to maybe the way you guys tackle, like man mm -hmm. brought that up, um, how many reps do you see him getting in a game like this? Or is it one of those things that progressively is going to go up? Bubba's reps will be completely 100% a result of how he tackles. Okay. If Bubba tackles, Bubba will play. How we tackle. And Bubba knows that, and I'm on it. And he's done a good job with it. Um, but at the same time, he hasn't played in a college football game in a long time. Everyone, including myself, and every fan, and every person with a camera right now wants Bubba to play. And I get it, but I'm, we're never gonna um, change our philosophy of what gets you on the field at University of Miami on defense. You will tackle if, and you will play. If you don't tackle, you won't play. So I know Bubba's super intelligent. I know he's a really good athlete. I know he's got good foot speed. I know he'll be in the right area at the right place, but I got to see him tackle. And if he does that, he'll play a bunch. And if he doesn't, everyone will know why. But I think at the end of the day, I think Bubba's going to go in there and tackle. Good question. Anything else for Coach Anybody else?
That was easy. Man, <laughs> you guys made it easy on me. Yeah. <laughs>